Hello, this is Tim Kamsa with TBC Action Coach of Indiana with our Business Spotlight series. The purpose is to promote, promote local business owners through our social channels and email database as a, well, as a way of giving back to the community. Our philosophy here is that if every business is strong, then the economy is strong. So today I have the pleasure of speaking with Charlie. Welcome, Charlie. It's great to have you on the program today. Hi, Tim. Thanks a lot for having me. So let's start with uh, introduce yourself and tell us a little bit of your background. Sure. Uh, my name is Charlie Clark. I recently moved to Indiana a couple of years ago, and um, uh, I, I've started a small, uh, small, uh, uh, small uh, consulting firm uh, focusing on sales uh, performance. And um, I'm from Philadelphia originally. I've been in sales and marketing my uh, entire career. Uh, started with DuPont. Uh, which doesn't exist anymore as part of Dow Chemical, and then uh, learned a lot about entrepreneurial businesses when I was a, a, a consultant with Ernst & Young, and then um, helped start some um, businesses that had very successful uh, acquisitions. Uh, the most recent one was eMoney Advisor, which we started in 2000, and we sold it in 2015 to Fidelity Investments. It's a financial planning software company. And then uh, taking all the sales and marketing learnings that I uh, uh, learned along the way, I started this company um, near the end of my career, uh, hoping to give back and help smaller businesses, entrepreneurial businesses, uh, figure out how to jumpstart their sales engines and um, take their companies to the next level. Fantastic. So Charlie, can you tell us a little bit more about how you help companies through the, the sales process? Sure. I help entrepreneurs think of their businesses as sales engines, whether they know it or not, they have a sales engine. If they're generating leads, if they're trying to sell them and they're trying to maintain them um, uh, and they have customer support, um, they have a sales engine. Now, the question is, how big and powerful is that engine? Uh, most entrepreneurs would love to have a V8, but but if they're honest, they'll tell you that after some initial success, you know, they have stalls and starts and things. And uh, the reason is that they probably have those three functions, lead generation, sales and customer success functioning independently of each other. And what they really need is to make that sales engine powerful. They need to bring them together functioning as one cohesive unit. And that's what we help them with. Fantastic. So tell us, um, Charlie, who... Who do you serve? Or who's your best customer? We call that a target audience. Our best customer is really right now, because we come from, from uh, financial technology, is really technology entrepreneurs. But uh, we, we're going to be finishing a book this year, and then we're going to uh, take it out and make it available to everybody because every entrepreneur has needs for those three areas, lead generation, sales performance, and uh, customer success for uh, retention. And... Um, and so anyone who struggles with any one of those three, uh, really, we, we have a solution for them that can help them get back on path. Fantastic. So what has been the biggest impact that COVID has had on your business? The biggest impact is we're not just our, you know, we working from home, but so are all of our customers and our uh, prospects. And um, um, surprisingly, reaching them has gotten easier instead of more difficult with COVID, because even though you can't reach them at the office physically and you can't sell in front of them, access to them through the phone has gotten really simpler, I think. Fantastic. So we've all had to pivot during this time to, to figure out how to make our business continue to work. So what are what's one pivot that you've had to make that's made a difference for your business and how's that been working for you? Um, I, I guess the pivot is um, uh, we've, when uh, we start engagements, we start narrowly and then it gets broad and getting broad causes delays and it really adds complexity and, and it takes discipline to, to pull back and focus just on the reasons that we were hired. Mm -hmm. And uh, if there's additional work there, we can, uh, we can discuss it then, but but that's been the hardest thing is having to pull back with limited resources um, and, and stay focused on what we were hired to do. Got it. So here's an interesting question, Charlie. It's been said that smart people learn from their mistakes and wise people learn from the mistakes of others. So what's a mistake you've made along the way that you'd be willing to share with us to help other entrepreneurs learn from your experience? 
Sure. Uh, the biggest mistake that, that I've made is uh, it really isn't, as a business owner, it, it just isn't about you. Mm. It, it really is about your buyers, your uh, customers. And so many times we get caught talking about uh, all, all the success that we can bring a, a, a client or a customer or how much we can help them about what we do. But really, uh, what, what gets the sale is really spending most of your time talking about them giving them reasons to buy, not improving the way that you sell. And um, uh, I find that small business owners get caught in that trap uh, in their own circumstances, you know, focusing on their own circumstances. But if they focus on their buyers and less on themselves, more on their buy on, on what makes the buyer successful by working with you and less on how to improve their sales process, uh, they're going to have a lot more success. Wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing that. Second last question here, Charlie. Um, we've got, we'll get your contact information to be uh, included in this uh, post uh, when we put this video out, but is there anything else that we should add uh, for listeners? Um, any offers that you're running or what's the best way for people to find out if you're the right fit for them? Sure. Uh, well, there, there is an offer that I'd like to make of make available um, I would like to do a, a, a webinar for for your audience to give them an overview on how they can build out their own sales engine themselves you know what are the touch points um, and um, and uh, maybe a couple of weeks down the road schedule a webinar to walk them through how they should approach um, their lead generation their sales folks and their customer success uh, in order to build out their sales engine so they could help help themselves. Um, and, uh, and if they need to learn uh, more about sales pistons, uh, they can go to sales, www.salespistons.com and uh, they can learn more about our, uh, our sales engine methodology. Fantastic. Awesome. Thank you so much for that offer. We'll make sure to include that in the post as well. So last question here, Charlie, what's been most inspiring to you during all the craziness of the past year? Um, I think what, what has inspired me is just talking, being able to really, since you can't go out and meet people, which kind of limits your, your, your own activities, I've been able to speak with a lot more entrepreneurs and learn more about, about their own struggles. And um, I'm, uh, I'm constantly inspired as, as to how persevering they are and how focused they are on staying the course and, and using this time to get closer to their, to their customers as opposed to separating them uh, uh, by, by being kept inside. Mm -hmm. They're actually focusing on getting closer and getting to know them better. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that. So that concludes the interview. For those listening to this, if you've heard something that is uh, piquing your interest, uh, please reach out to Charlie, learn more about uh, his his sales machine, our sales engine process, uh, take advantage of that free offer that he shared earlier. And again, I'll make sure to include that in our posts. Charlie, it's been a pleasure learning about you and your business, and I wish you tremendous success. Thanks, Tim. All right. Have a great day. You too.